Good evening, and once again, welcome to IU Northwest. Thank you for visiting our campus and region for the Commission's August 2011 meeting and for the opportunity to introduce IU Northwest. By acquainting you with our campus, our students, our faculty colleagues, and our significance in the region. There are many stories to share about IU Northwest and how we achieve our mission. And what I will share with you this evening is only a selection of what makes me so very proud to be chancellor here. We have an unambiguous urban mission and commi commitment at IU Northwest, and several examples of the academic strengths of our campus reflect the distinctive strengths of Indiana University. IU believes in the enduring importance of the skills and perspective that are embedded in the arts and sciences that create the common framework for the bachelor's degree and represent practical career skills expected in the working world. Medical education and research are hallmark features of Indiana University's role in the state, and our region has the advantage of the IU School of Medi Medicine Northwest Center on our campus. The center distinguishes itself in its own right, for example, the internationally renowned ProSection program, but its presence on the campus makes possible synergies and collaborative programming with our College of Health and Human Services that put future physicians to work with future nurses, allied health professionals, and social workers. These learning experiences prepare our students to work productively in the healthcare teams that the industry needs, but few academic programs are able to deliver. Our School of Business and Economics is fully accredited by AACSB and offers challenging undergraduate and MBA programs in flexible formats and works ever more closely with the Northwest Indiana business community to support economic redevelopment. IU Northwest is recognized regionally for achievements in and support for the fine arts. We have a distinguished art faculty whose paintings and sculptures surround us here in the Savannah Center with the Shadows and Echo Sculpture Garden just outside. You can see both the quality of the art made here at IU Northwest and its significance in the life of our campus, which I think of as embracing the urban aesthetic. Our fine arts students receive the finest instruction and encouragement, and every day, all of our students and employees enjoy an environment that cherishes the arts. People bring IU Northwest to life each day, so let me introduce our students and faculty. IU Northwest serves one of the most diverse university-level student populations in Indiana which reflects the character of our region and our urban commitment. The characteristics of IU Northwest students tell us a great deal about future demographic trends at regional comprehensive campuses. Among our nearly 6,000 students, two-thirds are women, 40% attend part-time. Among our full-time students, nearly half are enrolled for the minimum 12 credits with an overall average of 13.1 credits. Only 17.5% of them enroll for 15 or more credits, which is the traditional pace for degree completion in four academic years. 30% are transfer students, 40% are students of color. The average age is late 20s, and approaching 90% of our students are already employed. Our students also bring significant levels of financial need. More than half of our undergraduates are Pell Grant recipients. Two-thirds of those receiving Pell Grants attend part-time. But who are our students academically? IU Northwest has its share of outstanding students, but as we think about access and academic success in Indiana, I am frankly not too worried about adequate opportunities for those who are identified in high school as excellent students. An integral part of the mission and purpose of IU Northwest is certainly to recruit those students and enable them to succeed. But it is also our job to attend to and support good, qualified students some of whom may need flexibility in scheduling, adaptability in instructional format, and some academic support, who deserve the best that IU can offer, and without whose academic success, Indiana cannot achieve its bachelor's degree targets. Our students, whatever their ages, are managing their academic careers along with an often complex ar array of adult responsibilities and commitments. We provide the full range of academic support services and always look for new ways to enable our students to succeed. For example, turning a potentially disruptive change in the federal financial aid student academic progress regulation into a retention initiative. Our 190 full-time IU Northwest faculty members are dedicated to the academic success of our students. They are extraordinarily productive teaching scholars and beyond continuing improvement in innovation and teaching and learning, uh, for example, expanding online learning options, uh, their effectiveness and commitment are grounded in their scholarly lives. As the IU Regional Campus Blueprint for Student Attainment emphasizes, active immersion in the questions and literature of the disciplines animates good teaching. 
It is about direct contact with the scholarship that creates the content for student learning and the excitement of sharing the latest findings and involving students in the current debates. IU Northwest faculty is collectively supported in the classroom every day by a distinguished scholarly record. In 2010, my faculty colleagues published or had in press or production 23 books, 195 articles, 17 book chapters, and 16 papers and conference proceedings. IU Northwest faculty are also active in their disciplinary and professional societies, including 300 conference presentations and more than 150 service contributions to national and international organizations. There are also 86 faculty grant applications that produced more than $1 million in awards. And in the last two years, 25 faculty colleagues have been recognized with teaching awards and an additional four for service and creativity. Clearly, I'm very proud of these faculty colleagues. They are well prepared to deliver a first-rate Indiana University learning experience, including student research opportunities. Our students deserve nothing less. Part of the role of an IU regional campus is to devote its intellectual, human, and other resources to the advancement of the, of the region that we serve. IU Northwest is an active part of Northwest Indiana and Gary, and an important neutral ground for community gatherings and discussions. As a campus, we have redoubled our commitment to civic and community engagement as a strategic priority. There are many current commitments on which we will continue to build, including active and leadership roles by me and other campus colleagues, uh, in economic and industrial revitalization efforts in Gary and throughout Northwest Indiana. Just a few of the examples of the range of our community and civic engagement that can be found on our website include the Center for Urban and Regional Excellence, our front door for engagement, commitments to regional schools including STEM initiatives, environmental education and stewardship, the School of Business and Economics volunteer tax programs that have been honored by the IRS for 20 years of fine service, the College of Health and Human Services Dental Clinic, and the School of Business and Economics Small Business Institute that places advanced undergraduate students to work with about 50 Northwest Indiana businesses each year. IU Northwest is a regionally engaged campus where students annually contribute more than 13,000 service learning hours. We are highly valued as a member of the community and plan to knit ourselves even more tightly into the life of Northwest Indiana. Hearing directly from IU Northwest students provides the living substance to the context that I have sketched. And we have a short video so that some of our students who are here with us this evening can share in their own words their stories with you. We're expected a lot from, and the teachers and the staff here definitely understand that. And they try their best to help us out. And that's one of the biggest things that helps me out because I have teachers that understand that we all come from different backgrounds and we all have different stories and situations and they definitely understand that from students, this being a commuter college. I take about 17 credit hours and on top of 17 credit hours I work 20 to 30 hours a week here and I do volunteering. <laughs> So like in the first semester where I started working at the hospital, I worked all day shifts. And so I found a way to make my schedule at school where I went to school two days a week, got all my classes done, and worked in the mornings so that I had every other day. And that worked lovely. And then when my schedule changed where I worked nights at the hospital, I found a way to make my schedule where I'm only three days a week in the mornings and then I go to work at night. And so just the avail availability that IUN has of their classes has helped me to kind of <laughs> be able to go to work and go to school and not get overwhelmed with trying to balance the two, but they seamlessly work together. My experience with IUN and the SPIA department, um, they were very accessible, um, easy to call, talk to, um, if you needed one-on-one -on -one attention, you know, they were there for that um, from the staff you know, down to the adjunct professors. They were always uh, able to be contacted during their business hours. I deployed you know, throughout my uh, degree and they were <laughs> very cooperative. I talked to them while I was overseas. Um, they just really were, I guess, a, a good team for me to be a part of. The transition away from the um, school, actually, I don't even remember. I just remember getting told I had to deploy and withdrawing from all my classes. Um, I was gone for 12 months, you know, so when I came home, from Afghanistan, it was a transition, but they were, I mean, I just came right back in. It was no no transition, honestly. I got back, it was different students. That was probably the biggest transition for me because my class that I came in with, they had all graduated. 
So I was just me and people thought I was a new student. And I think some challenges that uh, I think the school in general, I mean specifically SPIA, you know, helped me overcome was yeah, my military obligations. You know, I have to go for training sometime. I have training before class sometime, after class sometime. I come to class late, you know, just a lot of different um, things with the military. I'm gone for two weeks, you know, hey, I'm gonna miss class for two weeks, you know, but they were very, very, you know, supportive of my, you know, my situation, you know, so I, as far as everything goes, I don't think, um, like I said, another university might not have, you know, kept track, you know, kept up with me. Well, one of the things that I would not have expected was the amount of diversity on this campus. Um, I wasn't sure um, how I would fit in to the campus. And sure enough, coming here, I was accepted right away. I do work, um, I'm a janitor, and I have my work schedule. I also work around on campus um, as a supplementary instructor. Um, work is mostly in the evenings, um, late at night. When I get done with school, I go to work. Or sometimes when I'm on break, because I work five minutes away from here. When I'm on break, I'll go there and work for a couple hours before I have my next class. So that's how I balance school and work. When you, when you have many things to balance, it prepares you for the future, um, for a career, because right now I'm talking about work, that's just a job to me. A career would be something like where I'm going into medicine, be a doctor. That's something that you have to balance a lot of things around. And being able to balance my school and my work um, together has given me uh, a greater confidence in, in that I, I know I'll be successful when I leave college or when I leave the university and go into medical school and become a doctor. No one said, you're ridiculous for coming back to school at your age. I was 39 when I came back to school. And no one said, this is gonna to be too hard for you, you have two kids. I, I was welcomed and I was actually somewhat courted. Um, they seemed to understand that I was smart, I had a willingness to learn, that I wanted to be here, and so every step of the way, I was encouraged through that enrollment process. When I went back, I went back on my terms of part-time, and for a long time, that was one class a semester. And I, my children were actually very small at the time, and so it was a matter of, the, actually the availability of some night classes actually helped. My husband works full-time downtown, so being able to come at night and jostle. Once they got a little older, everybody was in school full-time, then I looked at the course catalog, figured out what I needed to take, and then just adjusted my life around it. And you make it work. If you want to make it work, you can make it work here. When you meet our students, you can see why I'm proud to be chancellor at IU Northwest. Student academic success, as measured by the conferring of bachelor's degrees, is a signature priority for the state of Indiana and Indiana University. You have met our students and heard the individual stories that frame their academic careers. To properly support this priority, it is critical to have authentic, accurate measurements of the achievements of all of the diverse students at a campus such as IU Northwest. First to second year persistence is an important indicator and we have maintained our improved retention rate at the same time that enrollments have grown nearly 24%. The standard measure for degree completion has been the record of first-time, full-time students in the first six years of enrollment at a single campus. The limitations of this measure have been examined in detail, but it continues to be the default measure, even though it may capture only half of higher education enrollments and understates the achievements of a diverse student population. IU Northwest has joined the National Voluntary System of Accountability, which has a student success calculation that is capable of, of including all degree-seeking students, including the transfer and part-time students that make up such a significant part of the IU Northwest student body. It also accounts for an important contemporary phenomenon of intentional student mob mobility among colleges and universities by tracking those who have transferred and graduated or are still enrolled elsewhere. When we compare IU Northwest's six-year completion rate for the 2004 new student cohort by the standard measure, about 19%, with the VSA approach, you can see a dramatic, more textured difference. We also see that our first-time, full-time six-year completion rate aligns very closely with the proportion of our students enrolled for 15 or more credits. There are better tools available to more accurately measure and recognize student achievement and institutional performance as well as to set targets for continuing improvement. Thank you for the opportunity to introduce our campus to you. I think that you can see the source of my pride 
in IU Northwest, a pride that I think the state of Indiana can confidently share. All the best, and I'm available for questions, as are our students.